Well, we're getting ready here for the uh, Pro Base Beach Challenge, which is the uh, second event of this year's Pro Base World Cup Tour. We are here again uh, on the island of Simi, back at uh, St. George's Bay. We have a number of very good base jumpers here this year, um, very strong competitors, and uh, we're really excited to see what's going to happen, who's going to take it. Uh, ready to go and uh, excited to get the show started. This place is awesome. It's far away from my ex expectations. <laughs> the people here is very nice with the base jumpers. This place is amazing, it's incredible. And uh, the mood is fantastic and the people is fantastic and the culture. And I enjoy too much to, to be here. I want a picture of my dog. Of course. So it's not easy to win. The con you have to concentrate to make it as much as the center as you can. It's a, a jump where we need to be careful for the off headings. So it's really important to be quick on, on the openings. This is a so-called target landing competition. What is actually being judged is the free fall delay, the canopy opening direction, and of course, the accuracy landing on the target. We got Rami Kayala here from Finland starting out with a perfect zero. This is representing Switzerland, Melanie Goldoni in her first ever base jumping competition. And she's also doing a great job coming in very, very close to the uh, center of the circle. Giovanni Silvestri from Italy, one of the favorites here and definitely a podium contestant. Uh, is a very, very solid jumper, however he's not really that close on his first round. Now we got Giancarlo Di Vito, the oldest contestant here at the Pro Base Tour. Dominic Loyen from Germany, another one who counts to the circle of favorites here. Very solid canopy pilot overall. Comes in with speed and hits the center, sets himself up for, for a good position here. This is Jamie Flynn, representing the United Kingdom. And he's a bit unlucky here as he wipes out on the landing. Things that happen. Now this is the first of the Brazilian team, Kedley Olivetti here. Brazilians sending a three-man team. Very, very strong competitors, all of them. Next one up, Marcelo Wendt, known as Kiko in the base, seen a professional parachutist. Comes in and shows that yes, he knows how to land a canopy in the center of a circle. Continue now with Kimi Müller from Norway. The main from Girag. Also a very, very good canopy pilot. There's a lot of very strong competitors here, and this is our youngest competitor, Justine Ed from France. She's only 21 years old and already competing here in her first ever base jumping competition and doing a very, very solid job in her first round here. Next up, the main from Down Under, Cameron Tracy from Australia. And this here is uh, Annie Helliwell from New Zealand, the founder of one of the first base gear manufacturers, basic research. She's been jumping for close to 20 years. Up next, Rui Fernandes, the third man from the Brazilian team, and he's also obviously a very, very strong competitor here. Counts to the favorites, a very, very good canopy pilot, as we see with this performance. This is Luca Di Prinzio from Italy. And also here, last year's women's wingsuit world champion, Livia Dickey from Australia, is participating here at the Pro Base Beach Challenge on Simi Island in Greece. Uh, here we, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, great base jumpers with a lot of uh, experience. Uh, Kiko is a uh, a nice guy and, uh, and he can I think he can win. Mas na hora da competição mesmo eu fico um pouco nervoso e acabo me me desconcentrando um pouco. I think the Brazilian team is strong like Kiko and 
fui. And I think the Brazilians in general are really good in accuracy. The jumpers return back to the top to get ready for the final round. The beach fills up, the crowd gathers. Nearly 3,000 spectators come around to the beach and on their boats. They don't want to miss the final showdown and see who will take the victory in the Pro Base Beach Challenge. Dominic Loyan has to give it his all in order to make it onto the podium. He comes in hard and fast, but does not stand up his laning. And there is his chance gone for a podium spot. Much better fares Giovanni Silvestri from Italy. Hitting the center circle catapults him into the points and we can see he is quite happy with his performance in this final round. Marcelo went the Brazilian manages to keep his nerves under control, also hits the center circle, and that way manages fifth in the overall ranking. And there's only three people left on the top. This is Carlos Brizeno, the Venezuelan, who's been hitting the target on every round, and he does so again in the final here and guarantees himself thus a podium spot. But the big surprise comes with this jumper right here, Switzerland's Melanie Goldoni. Surprises everyone and in her first ever base competition takes second place with two perfect rounds. Just three and a half points ahead of Carlos Brasenio. She secures second spot in the competition. And this is the man who's been dominating this whole uh, contest here. Rami Kayala from Finland does another easy looking perfect zero on landing and takes the victory here at the Pro Base Beach Challenge 2011 with a margin of almost 20 points. Melanie Goldoni of second place! And Rami Kajala from Finland! The winner of the Pro Base Accuracy event! Rami, where are you? Leave me, Rami. Top score! He scored the best score in three of the rounds, three out of the four rounds he jumped, so he's a well deserving winner of this competition. I'm very happy, of course, and also a little bit surprised. I didn't expect to be at the first place. Melanie was sure, but for sure it was a surprise. Positive surprise, of course. And of course all the Brazilians were, every one of them were really, really good. So those were my worst enemies. <laughs> Usually we are treated as criminals and this time we were like rock stars. I was just jumping. I was enjoying the flight. I was, I can only remember I wanted to fly next to the wall. I wanted to fly over the sea. I almost forgot to um, go back to the target because it was so nice to fly over the sea. Uh, I was uh, surprised that a girl beat me. <laughs> well, sometimes they beat you. They beat you all your life. I'm, I'm going to move to Robert Pechnik's uh, house this month to see if I can get some coaching. No, just joking. <laughs> <laughs>